Hi guys, it's Kaylin and my lovely mother. Hi, say hi. She's hi. here with me today because we're doing Pilates and she knows a heck of a lot more about Pilates than I do. But to fit Pilates with props into our method of the week, which is progression, progressive overload, we're going to do some moves that you are aware of that you use in fitness. And then we're gonna show you how to do them with Pilates with props and increasing our stamina, increasing our form and helping our other exercises progress with our strength. All right, so here we go. I'm not the leader for this, so we're gonna have, we're gonna do a warm up. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> okay. So in order to loosen up and warm up our muscles, we're going to uh, pretend we hold the beach ball and what we want to do is um, hold our beach ball and then press our shoulders into the mat. One, and then breathe in and breathe out. In, out, in. And now what we want to do is lift our scapula. So we're in, up, and down. And breathe in, up, and down. In. Up and down. One more. Now, some of you may be able to do this. It depends on how tight you are. So what you want to do is go palms up and go opposite and opposite. <laughs> now, if you need to bend your elbows to get to the floor, then go ahead. Breathe. Okay, so your back and your shoulders are all warmed up, and what you want to do now is to make sure that your knees are uh, equal to your hips, and you're going to keep your core tight, and what we're going to do is we're just going to bend open, two, you want to keep your core as still as you can, three, four, other side, four is good, one, you want to squeeze, squeeze. You just want to stay tight and not move your torso. So yes, it's not about squeezing, it's keeping your torso, uh, uh, your, your core tight. Okay, your torso and your core, I just made up a word. Torso. Torso. <laughs> torso. <laughs> right. It's all about the core. And what you want to do is you want to bring your, you want to open your hip. Open out. Out. And then you want to swing back. So let's see how I can describe that. And it's uh, breathe in, out, and sweep, and then exhale. A couple of those. Really paying attention to the core and breathing. That's important. Keeping everything still. What you're doing is you are opening up your hip joints and you are lubricating them and getting them ready. Okay. One more. Other side. Out. Everything is still. Stretch. Ooh, did you hear that crack? Yep. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Out. Stretch. Take the time to stretch and feel all those muscles. Breathe in, out, stretch. Oh, we got a lot of cracks right now. <laughs> One more. Out, and stretch. And Pilates is not about moving fast, it's about breathing and moving and paying attention to your muscles. Okay, to get ready. Do you want to first? To, it's just a one more warm up. Okay. You want to stay in a neutral position. And when I say neutral, you want to make sure that you have space between your back. This is a neutral position. Anytime you have your feet on the floor, there is space between your back. When you lift your feet off the floor, you always want to protect your back. And then that's when you um, go into a different, um, a different position and you protect your back. So right now, you're in a neutral position and you're going to breathe. It's breathing and moving at the same time. <clears throat> and so 
You want to make sure that your shoulders are always relaxed when you're on the mat, neutral position, and you're going to come up and breathe in, breathe out, breathe in again, and see if you can go a little further, breathe in before you return. And so it's a fluid, so it's breathe in, in, out, in, takes a little bit to actually get that rhythm, but it's in, before you return, in, out, one more, one more. And it's always as much as you can do, as far as you can go, and as fluid as you can be. Okay. Okay? So first move we're gonna do is called the 100. She's gonna show you the classic 100. I'm going to show you how to progress it with a band while she progresses it with intensity. So really quick, just first, regular 100. No, no progression. Do you want me to use the ball? No, nope, that's progression. So just okay. go first. So what is a 100? So, the 100 is probably the hardest exercise for people to acquire Great because, to start with. <laughs> because it has to do with breathing and it's five breaths in and five breaths out. And three. So in order to do that, I need to protect my back. Okay. And so anytime I lift my feet off the ground, I need to make sure that I'm protecting my back and the best way to learn how to do that is to actually bring my um, feet up into this kind of position, a tabletop position, and to push against it and, and, and push your back here. Yep. Okay, so okay. that's a tabletop. Yep. Perfect. You're actually perfect. And it doesn't matter. People always ask, should I put it in Should I... Um, put them in um, uh, a flex position. Okay. It doesn't matter at this point when you're learning how to do the 100, okay. and it doesn't matter whether you have your head up or down. Okay, but you so have to have down first. But you have to have soft shoulders, and you have to beat your hands, uh, or your arms, I should say. Okay. And it's one, two, three, four, five, in, one, two, three, four, five, out. Okay. Ready? Ready, go. Out. In, 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 back. So just pumping arms. <laughs> one more set of these. Six. No. One, two, three, four, five. Out. One, two, three, four, five. In. Out. One, two, three, four, five. In. One, two, three, four, five. Out. One, two, three, four, five. In. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hold. And to the right. Okay. Progression. I'm going to progress with this band. This is a standing 100. I'm going to stay in the same form, flat back, and pump my arms. And she's going to make it increasingly by adding. Uh, adding, what is this? Progressive. Progressive for intensity and effort. All right. So can she, I explain? Yep. So if you notice, my feet and my heels are together. So when I go in, I'm going to go with my heels. And then when I go out, I'm going to move my hands. While and squeezing feet. the ball. So in yeah, I'm increasing squeeze. focus. Now I'm going to use my arms, relax shoulders, imprinted back, legs are up. And nice and tight, let's go. Ready, go. Three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Five. Six. Any time. Your neck gets sore. You Eight. just eight. 
Ten more. Not ten more. Yeah, ten more. Five, oh, five. I, I miscounted. Them. All right. I thought that was ninety. Woo! I thought that was ninety. All right, one hundred. Either way. All right, <clears throat> moving a little bit faster, just because I said twenty minutes. I'm going to show you a bridge like you would do in a fitness class. All right, so just we would plant our feet. We'd worry about the butt cheeks, and we thrust and lower, thrust and lower, and really focusing on the glutes. We keep our core tight, but this is the motion that I encourage you to do, yelling the whole time, squeezing the glutes, which is great. However, to progress intensity and strength and breathing and furthering your practice in life, this is how we would do it. And it's actually really paying attention to your breath and your muscles. Um, in Pilates, it's a four count move. Four steps. So you, you, have, you have to get your breath ready and your muscles ready. So you um, inhale and you prepare. prepare. So you're squeezing your butt. So it's an inhale and then it's a push. And then, so you've exhaled. Now you inhale. And when you inhale, you're actually pushing um, and you're lengthening. Okay. And then when you inhale again, you are uh, pushing through your feet and your toes. Okay. And then you come down. All right, so we'll do it again. Ready? Prepare. Did you see the difference? Watch. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this or you can see it on camera. You can. So I'm not just ready to go, uh. Okay. I'm going like this. Prepare. I've just prepared my muscles. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm still staying soft here. Now I'm going up. Ready? I didn't breathe correctly, but that's okay because okay I'm talking. Yep. Now I'm going to push. And I'm pushing and with my feet. Okay. Now I'm breathing again. And I'm elongating. Squishing shoulders into the mat, right? Yes, but they're soft. Okay. They're yep. soft. But I am. I'm actually pushing out from my femurs. All right, let's do five. And then I'm a little down. faster, not without instruction. And right? I have to for forgive me because I'm not used to talking and doing this. Yep, it's hard, time. isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it's hard. Yeah, ready? All right, ready, go. Prepare. effect okay because you're pushing push with your feet push with your mind push, push. And I'll come down okay oh my bum isn't it amazing <laughs> it's really different when you connect it your is. breath with your muscles and you intense <sighs> intensely push one more my because bum. it really is a difference now wait when you do the last one come on shoot shoot shoot, shoot shoot when you do the last one <laughs> if you can I want you to bring your feet a little closer to your bum. <laughs> and I want you to make sure that your hips are aligned. The worst thing that you can do is open, open your knees, okay? So I want you to go like this and make sure that you are all aligned. Okay. Okay? And, 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 and seriously, I want you One to more. connect your breath. Okay. If you can move your feet closer, move your feet closer now. Okay. And so now you prepare. In. Out. There's the kicker. Uh, uh, in. There's the squeeze and then the push. Nice job. And I'm telling you right now, that makes all the difference in the world than this. Okay. No, it does. I can already feel this. Right. Which is still an exercise. It's just it a connection. is. All right. It's just different. It's it's time for her to show you the hard one. Okay, so we're going to elevate a bicycle crunch. I'm going to show you the fitness way. Right? Now, when I do it, I do make people hold to burn them out. Right, but here it is. This is all you're doing. Maybe it's this. Ha, 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 ha. Just getting those legs moving, right? That's what that is. We're going to now progress the bicycle crunch. I don't even know if it's called that in Pilates, with focus, stamina, and form. All right, this is a way to elevate your bicep crunch. It's all her, 
because I don't even know if I can do this. <laughs> I'm making her do it today because she's trying to do a rollover dance. All right, so. So again, I'm protecting my back and I'm in the proper position. I take my ball and hold it into my head and I'm in a... <laughs> you got this. Opposite. You got this. She's slow. Uh -huh. You got it. There it is. Holding that ball like a true beast. Look at the stamina, focus, control, balance. Oh, it's so amazing. Nice, look at that form. Look at that form. She can hold a hollow hold boat for like a minute. Nice job, beautiful work. You don't want me to try that because I'll drop the ball. Nice job. All right. All right, we have one more progression. Nice job. She's going to show you. We're just going to do one more core move on the oblique crunch because most of us do it wrong. Most of us just finish it to finish it. You know, do you show the wrong way because he's on my mat and won't move? So the, the wrong, wrong way, way, and don't hurt your back. We'll well, just, yeah, go ahead. I don't know, the wrong way. Yep. Just, you know, getting up and going high. Get and them not, done. Okay. Wrong. Progressing intensity, control, focus. And progressing intensity doesn't mean, ah! it also can mean control, slow focus, which I have an extremely hard time doing, which is why she's here. So again, since my feet are on the floor, I, I am not, I'm in a neutral position and my hips are aligned and my shoulders are soft and I'm in control. Now, sometimes if you want to keep the ball here, you actually can mm -hmm. because you can add a squeeze. Add a squeeze. And it's a squeeze when you come up. And it's not about how high I can get, it's about breathing and moving. And it's not about high, it's about moving my oblique. So it's Using your obliques to move in and it's over. And when I come up, I'm squeezing. Nice job. Notice how I'm not getting hugely off the floor. Slow and control is always harder than very fast and loose. Fast and loose is only good for cardio. Squeeze. Nice job. Nice job. All right, we have done a bunch of progressions for you. There are many more, but those are what we're gonna focus on today. Thank you, Mother, for joining in and leading the show. And you guys have fun progressing your moves. It's a lot harder <laughs> talking and doing. <laughs>